Hello, everybody, and I hope your weekend was good. This is a special Saturday update to a big travel week. Big time snow is in the forecast. We're going to talk about what a couple of models are showing, and we'll talk about what a model average is here. We're going to tear this forecast apart, and it's a comprehensive look. And by the way, with this look at the forecast, this is made by the latest forecast model. You will not see anything newer by waiting up until 10 o'clock. This is going to have the best information that you can get until your Sunday, which I'll have an update for you as well. We'll get started right here. Thanks for watching Hutch's Weather and your forecast, snow track, and timing, along with Hutch's Gut, begin here shortly. Now, a Hutch's Weather update with Chief Meteorologist Hutch Johnson, brought to you by Robert Gibb and Sons. All right, thanks so much for watching. We're gonna take a look at this forecast model average. Now we can run models all over the place, chunk them together and get an average for any point on how much snow all the models are forecasting. It's a, a good way to look at the forecast, but it's not necessarily always better than just looking at one and picking a good one. So I will point that out right now. Now, this is the model average of a number of different models, lower, small scale, large scale models, European and American. And it has the heaviest narrow band of heavy snow along that Highway 2 corridor and points north. Hutch's gut likes this. It tends to be more common this time of the year. And with the track of this storm showing changes every model run, it's really hard to pin down. We'll put that out there. Now, the amounts on this you cannot take to the bank. Now, stay tuned. I'll have the track of the storm and where it's coming from and the timing of the storm here in just a second. But this is, again, a look with several inches of snow possible along and north of Interstate 94. Down to the south, the amounts will dramatically uh, decrease. And again, these amounts are not forecast. They are averages of many model runs. It's really important to remember that. And we can't draw a color on here and say, oh, there's a high chance of more than four inches or anything like that yet. Because I'll tell you what, every one of these models is going to change as we get a little bit closer. Now, let's take a quick look at the timing. But first, I'm going to look at this European model just to show you the difference between the European and the, and the American one. And these are actual output forecasts by these models of how much snow will fall. Notice we didn't see anything with five, six or any pink colors on the model blended average. That's because on some models, they're way south. Others are way north. And even the ones in the middle get pasted with some snow. So there are places on this model forecast, the American model forecast, that are going to get schmutz, nothing. But let's just show you that this track, the European track, has moved south a little bit. Oh, not just a little bit. It's south by about 80 miles from where it was yesterday on our Friday. And it has a narrow band of four plus inches running across central parts of North Dakota and northern portions of Minnesota and even into Wisconsin with it rapidly trailing off to the north and to the south. This is typical. And in fact, this band will likely be too widespread. These global scale models like the American and the European model Forecasting this far out tend to overblow the aerial coverage of the big time snow bands. So keep that in mind. But this disc does put a magnitude on it and a track on it. We'll look at the timing in a second. Here's the American model. Moving pages to the American model. It's showing more widespread snowfall across the entirety of North Dakota, Montana, Northern South Dakota. And look at the heavy band. What? Are you kidding me? Fargo to uh, well, Breckenridge and the Hankinson area? Five to 10 inches, this is from the American model, the output of how much snow it's forecasting. It's not Hutch's forecast. So we're taking these two models as meteorologists. We're looking at them among other models because there are many more out there. And we're starting to see that they're getting a little bit closer in their track and timing on these storms. Central parts of North Dakota, this one has a blast of a heavier band of snow. Not uncommon, not impossible, but I like to paint these ranges as this. We're likely to see a good solid inch and likely ev uh, isolated areas of more across North Dakota. And then this model shows that heavier band could be four plus inches. I think both of those are spot on. Rapidly decreasing north, rapidly decreasing down to the south. And in fact, much of it being rain. Now let's take a look at this American model. No, let's go with the European model here since that's the one I want to point out. Let's go ahead and take a look at the timing of it. Both models, many models have this system really starting to puke out the snow on Monday in Montana. And then by Monday night, this is Monday night, it's crossing the border and it ain't necessarily welcome. And the rain rapidly diminishes and becomes snow. 
The European model has this heavy band of snow moving right through the central part or I-94 corridor of North Dakota and north of the I-94 corridor in Minnesota following more of that Highway 10 to 200 corridor right into Duluth, right into areas like Bemidji, uh, Brainerd Lakes area, also all the way out towards Cloquet as well. So keep in mind, this is the European model. It's the one I like best, but it's still going to change a little bit. And the snowfall amounts we showed you from this model. Now we're going to take a look at the American model on this particular run, and we'll go ahead and switch that over right here so it's labeled appropriately on your screen. Now, as I load this up, what you're going to notice here is a big time difference in the track. It gets started again Monday night in northeast Montana, moving into the oil patch, spreading the heavy band of snow close to the low pressure system here. And look at that Bismarck, Mandan all the way out to New Salem, Sue. That's utterly ridiculous. Oh man, this storm is moving. All right, as we push it down the interstate, it makes its way into Fargo and Lakes country with that heavy band of snow tracking with the low. This could also happen, the American guidance taking this storm this way. So all I can say is that this snow storm that comes through will combine a decent chance of heavy winds, a decent chance of a narrow band of heavy snow and tricky travel. And the timing of the storm system, this is Tuesday night. So out to the west, Monday night late. On Tuesday, in the morning hours, here's sunrise. Snowing like crazy in Bismarck, North Dakota to Dickinson and maybe out toward Lake Sakakawea on the Highway 200 corridor. Snowing profusely Tuesday by noon in the valley and moving into Minnesota. And by the time we get to Wednesday morning, rise and shine, this is 6 a.m. It's out of here. We wave goodbye to it, decreasing winds, but slippery travel conditions will continue for some into your Wednesday. But this is the crack of dawn in the morning at 6 a.m. And you can see the snowfall is pretty much left us behind. You can count on me to get you updated and keep you updated to the track of this storm system. But again, the main impacts will happen on Tuesday. Enjoy your 55 burger on your Sunday. It's going to be a gorgeous one out there, even all the way up to the north in toward the Lake of the Woods area. We're talking temperatures in the 45 to 50 degree range. Tuesday, the big travel impact day. Hutch has to plow out there, wax your shovels, get things ready. I'll keep you posted right here. Falling temperatures into your turkey day. Thanks so much. And stay tuned. Hutch's singers are coming up. Your Thanksgiving forecast is set. But the real storm watch is when somebody yells, Are these refs blind? For the 10th time. At that point, you can always say, To be fair, Hutch said visibility might be an issue out there from all of us at Hutch's weather. Happy Thanksgiving.